creating a beautiful homestead. <laughs> I'm Alexis. Welcome to my home. This is my daughter. Crazy. Crazy Miss Natalie. <laughs> it's definitely been an interesting week. Adjusting to being home. 24-7. Huh. Yeah, we're trying to have fun though. I know it's so different. Yeah. You ready to get chickens? We're getting so close. Mom just needs to build the coop. Yeah. Chickens. Yeah. So something up there you want? Look. What do you want? <laughs> what? You wanna play with that? You can play with that. Mm -hmm. okay. We've got Natalie signed up for swim lessons next month. Yes. So that'll be something for us to do. Yes. Okay guys, after our mini breakdown, we're back. Um, we've cleaned up the kitchen, done the dishes. Natalie is still wonderfully cleaning them for us. Don't worry, she's got all plastic stuff. Nothing to hurt. And she loves it. Yes, she is wasting water, but that's okay. Um, she's happy. I'm happy. We're just trying to get through this together one day at a time um, and figure out a new routine. So this morning we woke up and it was pouring. Um, it's now 1040 and it's not raining anymore. We are still going to make bread though um, and do a few things and then probably go outside this afternoon. We'll see. But we've got some stuff in the kitchen to do. Um, and I've always wanted to make homemade bread. Um, I even have a bread maker up there. Um, I'm not going to get that down today. I'm just going to do this simple bread recipe I found online. Um, let's see. The website is Tastes Better From Scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and get my pans um, and all my ingredients out. dry yeast, granulated sugar or honey, salt, oil, vegetable or canola. It says uh, melted butter could be substituted and then flour, bread flour or all-purpose flour. So let's get all those. That means we have to get in this cabinet. Don't judge me guys, okay? This is not going to be good. I almost forgot the yeast. Alright. Let's get started. Alright. Here's our flour. And our sugar. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull most of this out and set it over here because I have an entire 25 pound bag of flour I'm going to separate out later and store up in the top of this cabinet and reorganize it. So since we're in it, let's just go ahead and pull it all out real quick. Might as well. MRE granola packages. I really need to eat one of these. They're, uh, Granola with milk and blueberries. I really hope this tastes good. Like, I have high hopes for it. But I'm also scared. You never know with these things. They're either great or they're terrible. <laughs> we need to get some strawberries. I forgot we have these. Curtons. Okay, croutons don't belong in my baking cabinet. Let's put those there. Uh, 
daughter's using my stool, so pardon me while I climb on my cabinet. Mm. Holy moly. Found three, what looks to be jars of jam. Um, hey, Grandma Tammy, if you see this, are these yours? I don't remember having these. <laughs> That was the last thing out of there. Holy moly, I had a lot more stuff in that cabinet than I thought I did. So, uh, give me one second to situate everything over there that I don't need. I'll be right back. All right, guys. This is all that came out of that cabinet. That is insane. Okay, so now that we're done with all that and we have all our ingredients, we've got our water getting warm for our yeast, um, but let's go ahead and measure out the yeast. Now I need to get one of them kitchen weights, because I don't have one, and this thing calls for, yeah, five ounces of yeast, no, five and a half ounces of yeast, 11 ounces of water. Well, I don't have that, so we're going to use the handy dandy Google. Oh boy, you guys. That sounds like a lot of yeast. Come on. I don't. I don't like this guy. See if I can find one that gives me measurements of what it wants. Okay. This one says one package of active dry yeast, which is a fourth of an ounce. Ha ha. 1.5 teaspoons. That's one fourth. There we go. That sounds better. So instead of using that other recipe, let's use this one. And this is from Taste of Home. Okay. I will link that down in the description if anybody wants to look at it. I will still leave the other one on there because down at the bottom on that one it has varieties of like how you can make cinnamon swirl bread and this this and that that's kind of cool so we'll leave that in even though it's not the recipe we're using this looks <coughs> pretty much the same so this just has better ingredients um measurements for me okay so let's see we need this we're gonna need a teaspoon Yep. Actually, this says to start with half a teaspoon of sugar first. So, let's do that. One bean here. Okay. We got that. Okay, and then, yeah. Then I put the yeast in and the warm water, which, let me just the thermometer. I don't think it's warm yet. But let's check. So in the meantime, we want this is the half, <coughs> and this is the one. Hi. And then it says we'll need two and one fourth cup warm water. And this is. Right about at 110. Um, so we are gonna go ahead and grab some of it. Okay, so our water looks like it's at about 110 even. So let's go ahead and turn this off and pour it into our measuring cup. I am dripping on the floor. Okay, so there's two cups, and then one-fourth. I think that is one-fourth. I right, actually so that's a little bit over one-fourth, so let's dump a tad bit of it back in there. Set it back down. That seems to be even. Pop up that water I just spilled. Okay, 
Now, if I said to give it a stir, I'm not going to use the actual blender for that. We're just going to stir it. Okay. So I do see it forming some bubbles. So I'm not worried about my yeast being too old. Let's see. That wants me to mix the dry ingredients. I don't have a bowl. I'll be back. Alright guys. Took a small break. My my child some lunch and me. Um, I got a ham sandwich over there I've been snacking on. But let's get the rest of this made real quick. So, the instructions tell me to take the remaining three tablespoons. So... flour. Okay, so my cup actually does not fit in here. So I do them by like thirds or halves and looks like I have the third. I don't know what the half is right now. So one third. Two thirds. say one half ish okay now that's empty and I want to clean it out before I put the next batch in so we'll go ahead and open this bag I got right here that's got the last of this flour in it and I'll take another cup and a half from it so one third two thirds should be roughly three. This is kind of how I cook, guys. It's never normally by the exact measurement. Put the rest of that in the container. As soon as we get the chance. Okay, so we got the three cups of flour. Okay, this is a stir two tablespoons. It says canola oil. I'm going to use vegetable oil because that's just the kind of person I am. I don't really like canola oil. And it says two tablespoons. And that is big. I'm not really sure if this uh, did what it was supposed to. Guys, I'm not good at bread. Yeast is weird. I've been thinking about starting to try to do sourdough because then I don't have to deal with yeast. At least in the same sense. I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know how well this is going to turn out. I might need to go buy new yeast. Hey, too! Woo! Woo! Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Okay, well, let's just go ahead and make it and see what happens because that's the kind of stuff we do around here. You know, let's try something else tomorrow if we need. So we gotta go to the tire shop tomorrow, and I need to make a list of stuff we need. Okay, so there are two tablespoons of vegetable oil. All right, and then it says, oh yeah, I gotta start it. So, stir this in. I don't really know how you're supposed to stir oil into water. That doesn't really work, but we're starting. Okay. 
been stirred, even though the oil's still on top. Don't understand that part. Oh, I'm gonna go throw these in the sink. Okay, so now we're gonna combine this real good. I always just love using a whisk for dry ingredients. It makes me feel like I got it mixed better. And then, okay. And then pour into the flour mixture. Uh, well, we're going to do this backwards. I'm going to pour this into the water mixture. because That's how I do things. Always backwards. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start with... That's probably a little over half. And, oh, let's put our beater on. Doesn't really work. Doesn't have an attachment. Alright. Put it in. Plug her in. And... And I'll lock it too important. And we'll mix. This is probably not necessary at all. You could probably just mix it. I'm just really lazy and I have a KitchenAid so we use the KitchenAid. I'm just gonna let that mix for a little while. It says just keep adding it in until it's mixed. I'm gonna have a hard time with that. This thing. So let's go ahead and shut it off. Throw in some more, and then we'll drop it down and turn it back on. And we'll just keep going until it forms a ball, and then we have to knead it on flour. So I'm gonna go get a surface to do that on, and uh, I'll be back if this actually turns into dough, guys. It's actually dough! It looks right. Right? <laughs> okay. It's still quite sticky, but I'm supposed to knead it into flour, so let's get some flour on the surface and uh, get to kneading. Ah, where's the flour? Found it. Okay. Just put a nice big old handful down there and smear it around. Alright, so. Oh, let's just go ahead and try to take this off. Ugh. Give me the ball. Let's set it right here. Holy moly, guys. So I'm still unsure if it's supposed to be this sticky. Um, maybe I will learn how to use that bread maker. Cause, whoa, guys, whoa. Alright, let's get this out of here. Oh. It's coming. <laughs> oh, that just looks so funny. I would have stuck to me. Okay, scrape the last of it out. Alright, and then we'll set this to the side for right now. <coughs> okay, man, it's been a long time since high school. I don't, I don't even really remember how you need. But we're just going to keep doing this so I can maybe get a grip on it without so much. Okay. Oh, yeah, let me take my watch off. <laughs> okay, so it says knead until smooth and elastic. Eight to ten minutes. Place in greased bowl. Turn once to grease the top and cover and let rise in a warm place until dough doubles. If this thing doubles, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I guess we'll have more bread. Um, 
I guess I need to look up how to knead again, because I'm like over here just doing whatever. I don't, I don't think any of this is right. So let's semi-clean this hand off so we can use the computer next to me. Okay, that's, that's sort of good. Right. I'll need right, guys. Okay, hey, look, here's a little video. Okay, guys, I found a video. Um, I will link it in the description below for anybody who doesn't know how to knead either. I didn't think I was doing it right. It's been a long time. I haven't made bread since high school. So, you like fold it in on itself and push with your heels of your hands. Which is uh, proving to make a big old mess in my kitchen, but uh, that's okay. We don't mind. Okay, so we're back at uh, another one of these very sticky parts. Um, it's not very smooth yet, so I think we need more flour. More flour, more flour. Oh yeah, look, it's sticking everywhere. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Okay. Right. Guys, this is a. Uh, this is fun for me. I enjoy this type of things. Um, I tried to have Natalie come over and help me, but she wasn't interested, so she's over there playing by herself, being good. Does that seem smooth to you guys? Still seems pretty dang sticky to me. I guess more kneading is needed. Oh! <laughs> Guys, what a mess. Oh, I got flour on my watch. Whoopsies! Pick her up. Some more flour down. Alright, guys. I think we did it. That looks pretty smooth. Okay, and then I said it needed to go into a grease pan, which we've got right here. And so, let's see if I can turn this, yeah. So we're gonna put it in, and then kinda turn it so that the part on top is also oiled. Just kinda make sure it's all good and oiled. Okay. Okay, guys, and this is what we're left with, along with this lovely mess. But that's okay. So now the website said, or the recipe said, we're gonna put this somewhere warm and covered. So, so got our bowl with our dough. Nice and oiled. Cover it. What a rag. And like the warmest place I can probably think in this kitchen is gonna be on top of my fridge. So we're gonna place this up here. And it says to let sit for two to two and a half hours. So I'm gonna set a timer and we'll be back in two and a half hours to see if it rose and if we're making bread. All right, guys. And like that, we are clean again. Guys, this is, looks so promising. Look at this. Look how fluffy that looks. Okay, we're gonna take the towel off. We have rose flour. It actually rose. Holy cow. I am astounded. I am just astounded. Okay. So it says to punch it. So let me hear you nice. That was so satisfying. Please. Please. Hold on, guys. Okay, and it says we need to scrape it. Oh wow, this is coming out so nicely. No scraping necessary. 
Okay, wow. And then onto a floured surface and then cut it in half. So I guess I'm gonna use this because I don't have any kind of bread utensils, guys. So we're gonna, okay, so punch dough down, turn onto lightly floured surface, divide dough in half, shape each loaf. Okay. And then place in a, it says a nine by five inch loaf pan. Cover and let rise until doubled again. Okay. So we're gonna just go with a nice little loaf here for one of them. And then here's our other one. And we're gonna actually, I think what we're gonna do with this one is let's go ahead and place this one into our greased baking bowl and we'll set it aside. This one, I think I'm gonna put cinnamon in it for a cinnamon sugar swirl. So, I'm gonna need some cinnamon. This is one of them that was on that first recipe that I looked at. Girl, are you killing me with these? Okay, there you go. So this was on that first one that I saw and she just said you could just need in the ingredients that you wanted to put in your bread. So, we are going to attempt to do that. I don't, I don't know how well it's going to work. Um, cause now I'm, yeah, there we go. Now we're getting it and getting some of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that smells good. Oh, there's some more of it. And, yeah, yeah, and then there we go. Uh, it's getting a little sticky. <laughs> Instead of using more flour, I'm gonna sprinkle some more cinnamon on it. I don't know what's the problem with that. Shouldn't hurt anything. I mean, it's gotta re rise. So. I still can't believe it rose. I can't believe I made f bread, guys! Let's give it a, a little more cinnamon. Okay. Let's, a little bit more. Yeah, and then we're gonna sprinkle on some more sugar and knead it just a little bit more. And some more right there. Guys, I'm getting sugar on my floor again. I can feel it. This is gonna be a complete kitchen overhaul day over and over again. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, so there's sugar all over my floor again. I can't tell you how many times I think I've swept already today. Three, four. So, this is looking pretty cinnamon sugary. And it's also getting a bit sticky again. Which, again, I don't really know if it's normal or not. Um, should probably add some more flour, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna need it just a little bit more I guess maybe I should oh uh, yeah okay maybe some more flour You guys, 
There's probably a lot of you out there that know a lot more about bread than I do. But we're just having fun with it. Okay. So, this bread smells amazing, guys. Like, genuinely amazing. I cannot wait. So, here's our other grease pan. Plop it in there and let it double in size. Alright, guys. It's been... 40, 45 minutes, and we are definitely proofed to about twice the size they were. So I'm just gonna put a cute little cut in that one. Maybe, yeah, let's like give it like a leaf flat looking thing. That's cute. And then I'm just gonna put a couple slits and the cinnamon swirl bread. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Just having fun here. Look at those. Just to see I put a little cut thing in them. I don't know. I see lots of people doing it. We'll see what it looks like when it comes out. So it said to put it in at 375. I do not remember for how long. Um, and we are going to watch because one is in a glass dish and one is in a metal dish. I'm not real sure how they're going to cook it. But, we got both of them in, and we'll come back when they're done, guys. Okay, guys, I'm reading this, and it says to bake at 375 until loaf is golden brown and sounds hollow when tapped, or has reached an internal temperature of 200 degrees, so you could stick a thermometer in it, or 30 to 35 minutes. So... Then it says to remove from pans and place on a wire rack to dry. Um, I'm just going to set the timer for 20. Because they're two different kinds of pans. And continue to watch it and see what happens. So, see you guys in 20 minutes to, I guess, 35. We'll see. <laughs> okay, guys. So, it's been 30 minutes. And I just took the loaves of bread out of the oven. They smell amazing. Um, I'm currently filming on my phone because I'm uploading the rest of the video to my computer right now and I can't interrupt that. So I'm going to get these out on drying racks and as soon as they're cooled we'll come back on and we will cut them open. Alright guys, see you in a bit. Alright guys, it's about dinner time. We've got both our loaves over here. They are nice and cooled. So we're going to go ahead and cut them up. Um, I figured I'd let you guys see. Okay, so this is our cinnamon bread. And pardon me, I have no other smaller bread knife, so we're just gonna cut a little end off. Mmm, look at that. Oh! <laughs> Not as much as you'd normally would see. But, man, it smells good. Let's go ahead and cut part of it off. It tastes really good, too, guys. It may not look like a lot of cinnamon, but it definitely has enough cinnamon. It's very good. I'm very excited. This is going to be my breakfast for the next week, probably. So... I'm going to stick this in here. And this is how I'm going to store these. Just in these tubs. Right here on the counter. So, um, I'm definitely going to finish this piece of bread. Now I'm going to cut into this so we can get some loaf or some bread out for dinner. That too looks so good. It smells good. The loaf looks amazing. I don't think I'm ever gonna buy store-bought bread again. That was so easy. And I'm home now, so I have the time. And I'm gonna cut. One more slice off for dinner. We'll butter those. 
and have those with our food. Now this one I'm gonna slide right on into here. And do the same thing. Stick the lid on. And actually, that one looks a little steamy, so we're gonna set them right here like this with the lids off. I don't want any moisture in the containers. Mm. Guys, this is a win. I am writing that recipe book, or <laughs> I'm writing that recipe down in my recipe book and keep it and play with it for a while and see what else I can add to it. Mm -mm. I'm never buying store bread again. Now, at some point, I do want to get into sourdough. It is a more sustainable way to make bread, but that will come at a later date when I have more time for learning and not just throwing stuff together like I do here. Okay, guys. I'm going to finish cooking dinner and eating this bread. Thanks for joining us today, guys. If you enjoyed our video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that little bell button so you get notifications anytime we post a new video. Have a great day, guys.